No way. There is a ton of spiders. Oh boy. There's water at the bottom. Snails and dead spiders. And look at that mold. Oh, look at that spider's nest. Can you guys see that? Uh, basically with the house I've been, well we, myself and my wife, have been focusing on the inside of the house trying to get it all redecorated, repainted, carpets etc because we've got a baby on the way in two weeks time. So now that it's winter and I've done most of the inside of the house I've started to do a bit more work on the garden and the outside and I came across a pretty strange but cool little thing. What are you doing? What have you seen? What have you seen? Yeah, you make your mark. So I was clearing out this area here and all this was all leaves and mess and it was just, yeah, an overall mess. And I came across this really cool kind of barbecue area. I was like, oh, that's neat. The previous owners obviously had a barbecue here, which they haven't used in a while, I'm guessing, from all this thick moss that's growing on it. I haven't even taken the co cover off yet. I've been here a few months. In fact, Pretty usable still and then I came across this little thing and I was like oh that's a neat little tiled area you can put your pots and pans from barbecuing and things like that but what I noticed was this and I thought that's a bit odd to have somewhere to put pots and pans and then have a gap in there and then I spotted like a little screw here another screw here and a screw there and that was like okay you know things are a bit strange at that point and then, looking around, I saw this. And I thought, this is cool. There's a, there's a cellar down here. We've got to have a little storage area or something like that. This house was built in 1910. It's Edwardian farmhouse. And it actually predates World War II well, and World War I. So I saw this cellar and I actually did a bit more research into the house. And I found out some really, really awesome things. So this house is only a few miles away from a military airbase. When I did a bit more research into it, I found out that this house is on a hill, and this hill was used as a machine gun post during World War II. And this house in particular, this cellar, of what I thought in particular, is actually used as, was actually used as an air raid shelter during World War II. So it's just unbelievable. I can't believe I found this out. So everything under this area here is the air raid shelter. Now it's not a huge space, it's probably big enough for maybe four people, but I, it's just, it's really, really cool. Are you going in first, mate, or me? You first? I think you first, mate. So there's a little latch here. No way. <laughs> that is too cool. Look at this, buddy. Well, there's a lot of spiders. And there's an echo. Oh, man. Hey, buddy. Hey, hello. Oh, boy. You a bit scared? You meant to go down first, man. Right, let me get the camera. Come in. Look at this. Oh, it's pretty narrow down here. I'm going to try and boost the camera settings. I've got a little light, which I think works. Is it working? Yeah, it's not amazing. Oh, it's really narrow and there is a ton of spiders. Oh boy. This is the entrance to the bunker. <laughs> so it looks like I'm going in first because Jax is being a wuss. So, oh, it's, I'm gonna have to turn sideways, I think. But let me tell you guys, there's water at the bottom. Okay. Wow. That is epic. Okay. Oh look, there's like mold or something. 
What is that? Ugh. And there's kind of icicles in the ceiling. There's lots of little droplets under there. All that is droplets. And the uh, previous owners obviously stored some, some tiles in here. Loads of little water droplets there. A couple of spiders. There's a monster one somewhere back here. Look at that mold. God, you wouldn't want to stay in here for long. A few more snails. An actual living spider up in the corner. Some of these are dead. Oh, look at that spider's nest. Can you guys see that? That's awesome. I really want to poke it. Do it. <laughs> Sorry about the echo in here, guys. But this, this is it. And do you remember that vent up up the top? This is how I know it was an air raid shelter. Look at that, that hole there. And that is the 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 roof, the little vent that I showed you earlier, which was a, to allow oxygen in here, so that when people were in the bunker, when there was an air raid coming in, and the fighter planes were over the top, they could uh, breathe and survive in here. This is just too cool. Wow. I don't know what to do with this place. I gotta get the water sorted first, I think. I don't know what these hooks are. Can you, there's hooks in every corner. There's a hook there, a hook over by the spider's nest. There's four, I think. Oh no, there's a hook here. Maybe it's just for hanging things, I'm not too sure. Oh, there's wood lice as well. This is, uh, this is a pretty cool experience and it's something different to what I normally do on the channel. But, oh, it's just, I had to show you guys, I had to. What I want to know is, what do I do with this place? What can I... I don't know what to do with like, well, obviously the water situation, which I'm guessing is coming from the vent up in the corner there. So when it's raining, the water's coming in. But maybe I can make this some sort of prepper bunker. You know, like pump out the water or scoop out the water, sweep off the walls, give it a bit of a clean maybe. And then, um, yeah, I can put some racks in here and store some, uh, I don't know, prepper gear. Something, you know, long-term food storage or oh, just the possibilities are endless. But you probably can't see me at the back. This is the back wall. I'm still under the vent now. So this is, I'm crushing loads of snails as well. But this is, um, I don't know, maybe five feet by four feet? Five feet by five feet by four feet wide? I'll tell you what, I'd be cramped. Imagine if the planes were coming overhead and that's, that's what you could hear, the sirens going off. And you'd just be stood in here, just worried that, you know, something might hit the top of the air raid shelter, the bunker. Yeah, nervous, must be nervous times for them back then. But this is, uh, this is cool guys, this is really cool. Let's get out of here. I don't know where the dog is either. I don't know where the dog's gone. But <laughs> are you still waiting there? You're an absolute wuss, man. Oh, that's my stick. Give me that. Give me that. Don't fall in. So that's it. My World War II air raid shelter in the backyard of my house. Let me know in the comments section, guys, what you want to what you want to see here. Maybe I could do something. Give me some suggestions in the comments of what I could transform this into, be it prepper, food storage, any kind of project that you think would be pretty cool to do. Um, as you guys know, I have a baby on the way in two weeks time. So my life's going to get pretty busy. Um, and potentially for the first few weeks, I'm not going to be able to get out and do my normal kind of bushcraft camping related videos. So uh, maybe I could do some more stuff around the homestead, around the farmhouse here. I don't have loads of land, but you know, and it, I don't own a farm, it is just the farmhouse. But you know, there's plenty of projects to do. I've got the air raid shelter here. I've got kind of little projects I want to do in the backyard. Um, I've also, for the rest of this year, leading up to kind of Christmas and New Year, uh, I've got some kind of highlights videos, because this has been hands down the best year on YouTube for me. 
and yeah I put together a few highlights videos of uh, my best memories and best trips camping trips and projects and things like that so some of it well a lot of it you may have seen before but it's just a good chance for me to reflect and you guys to potentially reflect on some of the cool videos that I've made over the past few years so yeah over the next few weeks things are going to slow down for me uh, and then maybe after Christmas into the new year when I get my life sorted as a new dad I'll be able to uh, pick things up I've been busy on the inside of the house loads uh, you know outside of YouTube I've done tons of work on the inside of the house we've been redoing the nursery ready for the baby decorating that uh, the kitchen bathroom new bathroom fitted carpets painting just loads of jobs so life has been pretty busy but this is kind of an update video as well I sold the truck as well by the way recently and I got a Defender Land Rover Defender 90 which has just been my dream car and I'm really really chuffed with that maybe I'll feature that in some videos too but for now it's goodbye to the air raid shelter and a big thank you to everyone who's been watching over the past few weeks <sighs> thanks so much for watching let me know in the comments what you want to see here in the air raid shelter and i'll see you guys in the next episode